welcome back to What RT Nibs for General Disturbance. This is an FV215B. It's a tier 10 British reward heavy tank, not the Death Star. It's located on the north spawn of Siegfried Line Encounter and it's under the command of Filipperino. Okay, game's underway. Well, he's got a 120mm gun. It's the L1A1. Very accurate. And 33 rounds of APCR. He's ditched all the standard ammo he's just going to fire the APCR at the enemy this time round and somebody alongside him who's actually got an object 430U with three marks on the barrel camping wrecking ball okay well the FB215B rear mounted turret it's a bit like the mouse in some ways it's actually a very agile tank it was taken out of the tech tree and replaced by the super conqueror but it's a very, very good tank. And in fact, a lot of people were saying it's a bit of a shame it was taken out and replaced by the Supercon because this is a better tank. But the good news is you can get hold of one. They are in the collector's tab and it will only cost you 12,000 bonds to get hold of one. It's worth every bond, every penny that you spend. Get one of these if you can. It's a real monster. Now, I say it's a real monster, it's because it will actually deflect rounds from tanks that really it shouldn't be deflecting rounds from. Some of the most OT, OP tanks in the game. Well, Filipperino's going to occupy this corner and repel some of the enemies that are going to come around that side there. First target to IS-7. Gets 440 into him, but takes a round back for 411. Okay, now... He's loaded. Six second reload. Takes a round from the T-57 heavy in the tracks, but puts one into him into his main body. And look, it's bouncing rounds from the T-57 heavy's 120mm gun. Okay, IS-7's coming up for another shot. And that one didn't connect. You can see this tank was built for side scraping. Puts one into the lower plate of the... Uh, IS-7, tries to track him, yep, gets it. Now the gun, as I said, was a 120mm, 400 alpha, and the IS-7 only tracked him, he put 362 back into him, which is a low roll. Now can he track him? Oh, yes he did. Now he can just perforate that lower plate as, as he cares. Yep, another one in, 378. Going for another one. And, oh, he's just received a request for help. His buddy in the M Object 430U, he's flipped over. Oh, crumbs. Well, he's coming to the rescue of Camping Wrecking Ball. He's trying to get over this side here. Doesn't want to knock him or flip him the other way. So he backs up. And look at that. He flips his teammate back again into action. And he says, I'm on your side. And he says, you're a god. Yes, he is. And he puts around into the Progetto. Object 430U, back in action. Progetto takes another round from the his buddy in the three-marked Object 430. And looks like we're about to have some enemy come around the corner. Oh, it's a mouse. He plants around into the mouse, makes him a one-shot. Mouse got one back, but he's going for the lower plate. Yeah, he's out of the game. So that's the first kill there for Filipperino. Waiting for the reload to go back in. Oh, Bobject. Puts one into him for 499. Tracks him. Takes a round for 653. The T57 Heavy wants a piece. And from that, he got the steel wall. And he's being bullied by the T57 Heavy, but let's put a round into him. Yep, that one went in. The Bobjects try and have a go. The 430 comes back to the rescue. They finish off the T57. The Bobject gets killed by our 60TP. And we put a round into the 60TP on the enemy team to track him. E3 tries to go for the Capola. That one didn't work. The 430 is staying behind the wreck for good reason. Puts one into the Capola on the E3 who then promptly dies to the 60TP on our team. Okay, we can't hit the 60 TP on the enemy team, but we're backing up and turning around. There's a super cult just around here. 
the replacement tank for the FP215B. You can see some of the rounds that went into the roof. Look at those, the rounds that went into the roof of this tank from the uh, from the T57 Heavy, they went straight into the Coppola, carved the roof to pieces. And the 60TP takes another round for 343, but it's a low roll. He's going to fire one more. Can he get it? Yep, nicely right through the side. A high roll this time. And he's leaving that to his teammates because he's going after a Heshbarn and a Supercock. Okay, Heshbarn is the first target. Lines him up. Puts one into him. Goes for another. Track him. Yep, holds him in place. And he fixes his tracks, but he won't stay alive for this. Yep, that's him out of the game. Just took down one of the most dangerous enemy tanks. And there's another one just around the corner, Super Kong. And he dies. Now, Philip Reno's only got 140 hit points left now in this game. He's done 7,000 hit points of damage already. Blocked 4,450. And he helps save one of his teammates from, well, a rather embarrassing death on his side. And now he's out hunting for the enemy RT. There's a TVP 5051 in the north. Uh, he's been killed. And the Leopard is the last one alive on the enemy team. So he's just looking for the RT now. Now I think you can see now how tough this tank is. It really is mega tough. And it, it really should be in the game. But uh, Wargaming wanted it out. And so they replaced it with the Super Conk. But if you can get hold of one of these from the Collector's tab, it will reward you. Even though it's going to cost you 12,000 bombs to get it. Now he's motoring out to the field. And you can see it's actually quite quick for such a heavy tank. Only got 7 degrees of gun depression. But, uh, well, you can increase that if you shoot over the side, I think. Now, can he get that Object 261 in time? Yes, he does! Three kills, which makes him the highest scorer on his team. Well done, Filipperino. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's an ace tanker for Filipperino in the FB215B British Heavy Tank. He managed to get a hand of gold for surviving the battle, having received damage from four different enemies. A bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits in that one. He managed to get 11. A fire for effect for doing more damage than the hit points of his own vehicle. And a shell proof for blocking more damage than the hit points of his own vehicle. He got a Spartan for blocking around when he had less than 10% of his hit points left. A Confederate for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else on his team. A steel wall for blocking more damage than anyone else on his team. And he managed to get a high caliber for doing more damage than anyone else on his team. What a game. Let's have a look at the team score. Highest damage, 7,153 hit points. The next high score of was the 60TP Lewandowski go with 5,440. And after that, it was the Super Conk on the enemy team with 4619. When it came to kills, it was actually the Leopard 1 on the enemy team. We managed to get four kills. Then we got three kills by Filipperino, two kills by the FB215B183. That's the Death Star. And a 60TP on his own team, as well as the Object 430U. His teammate actually didn't survive the battle, but he did get a lot of damage. And he must have had a bit of fun. And, uh, well, the only member of the enemy team who actually managed to get more than one kill was that Leopard 1. When it came to base XP, it was Filipperino again with 1,364 base experience points. 1,076 for the Lewandowski Go and 880 for the Object 430U. He fired 27 rounds, got 26 direct hits and 19 penetrations. Good accuracy. He had a few shots which he fired which did hit spots where it didn't do any damage. But uh, apart from that, he was having a lot of fun doing dealing damage to the enemy. He fired two HE rounds during that game as well. So he got two for splash. 7,153 hit points of damage, all of it at close range. 15 hits received from the enemy, 5 of them were penetrations, 10 non-penetrations, and 1 hit by way of splash damage. He blocked damage of 4,450 hit points, damage, spotted 1 of the enemy, that's the Object 261, damaged 9 of the enemy, killed 3, and did 1,107 hit points of damage assistance. 
on a premium account, he earned 67,172 credits, got 30,227 from battle payments, so his total was 130,985 credits. But he did spend a lot of APCR, because, well, apart from the two rounds of HE, he was firing nothing but APCR, nothing but premium throughout the battle. And, uh, well, yes, he ended up with a small loss of 47,038 credits for the game. But he will make that back in no time at all. He earned 1,364 XP, got 102 for being a premium vehicle, and took away 2,148 experience points altogether. So, the FV215B, do I recommend it? Oh, hell yes, I do! <laughs> if you've got the chance to get one of these, do get it, because uh, it is a little monster, and it's one of those heavy tanks that really you should have in your inventory, because it's just totally unlike the Superconk. And I know a lot of um, Unicom players swear by this tank they say it's absolutely brilliant it is much much better than the super conch and a lot more fun even though it's got less gun depression it's just one of those tanks which deflects rounds like nobody's business so you can literally side scrape to your heart's content as he was doing in that game if you enjoyed that replay please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel we've got another replay coming up from philip arena very shortly and uh, i do hate it if you missed that one because it's actually quite good and thanks for watching this one